Hey developers, today we're going to look back in 2018 and look at the top five videos of 2018 from my channel, Program with Eric. First, I want to thank everybody that's watching. It's been an amazing year. The channel has grown so much. I have some really cool videos I made this year. I, I Gosh, I think I made... 100 videos over 100 videos this year um, almost three a week, which has been amazing So thank you very much on that before I get too far Let me say the sponsor for this video is actually my own course. It's create awesome Vue.js apps with Nux.js. If you guys haven't checked it out Check it out. There's going to be a link in the description or you can go to school.programwitheric.com So this is a really cool course. I created it's basically two courses in one. It's Half of it is Vue.js and half of it half of it is Nux.js, which is like a framework for Vue.js. If you're familiar with React, they have something called Next. Nuxt is the version for Vue.js, so it's basically a way you can do server-side rendering in Vue.js. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's a very unique course. It has uh, it, it's well worth checking it out. Uh, I have uh, I think it's over like seven eight hours of content. You get a private Facebook group. You also get any, um, there's also uh, a Q&A session with me and I'll, of course I answer any emails. So we go over everything you need to know with starting with Vue.js. So it doesn't, you don't have to be an expert in Vue.js. Actually, we teach you as a beginner. You don't have to have any experience. You can get up and running with Vue.js and then you can learn Nux.js, which I think is a really cool technology. So make sure you check out school.programwitheric.com, my course. And by the way, use coupon code YouTube at at checkout and get an additional 25% off. That's that's coupon code YouTube. And I'll leave that in the description too. Okay. So my number five video of 2018, which I'll close this real quickly, is five reasons why you shouldn't become a software engineer. So I did this back in October and, and I was so surprised how many people love this video and how many people hated this video. I wasn't trying to discourage people from becoming a software developer. What I was trying to tell you is that it's not for everyone, you know, just like carpentry isn't for everyone or being a doctor isn't for everyone. There's some reasons that you shouldn't become a software developer. And I was just laying it out. So uh, for those of you who watched it, thank you. I really appreciate it. Here is a quick sample of it so you guys can check it out. JavaScript framework, you may not even get much JavaScript work in. You may not learn about version control or AWS or a lot of things that you might end up using in your day-to-day -day job. So really, you're going to have to work a lot harder outside of your classroom to learn these skills. So I would make sure that you do that if you're in college right now, and that is not easy to do. Bootcamp, I think, is kind of in that middle part between self-taught and college. If you've got a, a bootcamp, it's usually three months, maybe six months. It's a At number four is the hot new ID everyone is talking about. So this is a video I did for coder.com. It's actually a really great IDE. It's a cloud ID um, that you can just use inside your browser. It, it's pretty advanced. They're still on alpha, but they're making some amazing strides. This is one of my top videos of 2018. So let's check it out just for a few seconds. Project. You can see right here, it tells you our fast time balance, and I'll show you how that works here in a moment. And this is a way we can speed up our development time. We can see our disk storage space that we have. And then we also have a couple- At number three is 10 new sites every developer should know about. So this was a cool video. I went through and kind of looked at the latest and greatest out there, and I put together a list. I know a lot of people love lists. So this had a lot of cool stuff, like had RxJS in there. Nellify, had Community, had some Ud Udemy stuff, some GraphQL, GraphCMS. So a uh, really cool video. And by the way, I'll have a link for all these videos in the description below. So let's take a, a few seconds. What I'm kind of interested Bye. in is Community. Um, this is a Communities for Open Source. It's by the same people that brought you Nuxt. And so what you can do with this, and it's in beta right now, is if you have an open source project or you know someone that has an open source project, they can register for this and it gives them a nice way of managing their open source project. So it kind of says in here, managing an open source project can be a nightmare. Question bugs and features requests are all mixed together. By answering issues in GitHub, you're helping a lot. At number two is three Visual Studio extensions you must have. Number three will shock you. I know that's a little bit of a... Uh, 
not not the greatest of titles, but I think it had a lot of great information. A lot of people love these Visual Studio extensions. In fact, I'm probably going to do some more videos on this later. But there's some really cool Visual Studio extensions you guys can get, and this video really highlighted them. So let's listen to uh, a, a few minutes of this, a few seconds. On this file, I see Eric Canchet four months ago. I get this. I get these three little buttons here, so I can actually do a diff. I can do an open changes from the last revision. I can actually click here, and this will open it up in GitHub and show me the actual changes that I did, which is really cool. And so you get a, a lot of capabilities here. And you can also do other things. You can go back a revision if you wanted to. You can open them. And the number one video of 2018 is how to get a computer science degree for free. So this video was a little controversial, but I told people, and I think a lot of people learned about MOOCs, and those are massive open online courses, all the different resources for it, and how you can literally get a computer science degree for free, which is really cool. So let's listen to that for a few seconds here. They actually have a bunch of partnerships. You can actually see them all if you go to their website. And make sure, by the way, if you're interested in these, these courses, use the link I have below. Check them out. I offered a lot of these courses you can get for free. And some of them you have to pay for the certificate. Some of them um, you have to pay for other things. We'll talk about that in the future. But you can see here Coursera partners up with the University of Melbourne. Uh, you know, mcguire university all right thank you guys for watching i think that was a lot of information those five sites will be in the description below and like i said make sure you check out my awesome uh, my course create awesome vue.js apps for nux.js and uh, i had two more shout outs i just want to bring up at the end of this video i have a couple of friends that have some really cool sites so one of them i want to mention is node university that's node.university and i'll have a link in the description below basically if you're looking to learn node you can get unlimited access to all-in-one courses, mentorship, and more. Um, it, it's a pretty cool uh, website where you can learn all about different uh, Node and and, and uh, better job and salary, increased productivity. So uh, it's a it's it's basically a course learning website. So you can see here all the courses available. They have Node, React. You don't know Node, so lots of different courses. Uh, Zot Martin teaches it, so check that out. And also the next course, uh, actually website I want to promote is Front End Weekly. And by the way, these people did not pay me anything to do this. This is just cool sites that I like to mention. Front End Weekly, the best articles and links and news related to Front End. It's frontendweekly.co. And it just has some kind of cool articles about what's happening in the industry, like CSS animation, loops and JavaScript, a lot of uh, front end development stuff. So make sure you check that out too. If you guys like these type of videos and you're interested in me continue on in 2019, please share this video with people. Click that like button, click that subscribe button that helps me out. And if you do subscribe, click that bell button so you're notified next time I create a video. I do have a lot of plans for 2019. I think you, if you saw a, a little bit earlier, I did a, a goals video. But one of my goals is to continue on with YouTube, create a lot of awesome free content for you guys. And uh, yeah, I just, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to grow the channel and get more people on board because I think we're helping a lot of people out. Thank you guys. Thanks. Take care. Bye.